Okay. So first I'm going to create three virtual machine and one virtual machine that is belongs to my Kubernetes. Okay. And second virtual machine that is belongs to my Kubernetes, Kubernetes node. Okay. And third virtual machine that is belongs to Jenkins server. Okay. So these all are DevOps concept. No worries. Three are, three are different, different services. So consider I'm going to create three instances. Then I will explain. So I will call it as EC2. So then I will create three virtual machine at a time. So I'll select a key, Mumbai key. So launch instance. See now uh, I'll create three virtual machine. Let's see. Let's wait to do that. Okay. So listen, first instance I will call it as Kubernetes. Okay, this is my Kubernetes master. So that's what I'll call it as Kubernetes master, save. And this server that is belongs to node server, Kubernetes master node server. Okay. And this is my Jenkins server, another server, Jenkins. Okay. So first I will select my first server, Kubernetes master server. I'll go to tag. Then I will click on manage tag. Then I will just click on app. Okay, this is application that is working on Kubernetes. I'll just click on, sorry, I just add on Kubernetes. Okay, Kubernetes, copy, save this. And this second node as well is a part of Kubernetes. Okay, so let me just go to tag, manage tag, add a new tag. So I'll select app and paste. Okay, sorry. Kubernetes, fine. Then save. Okay. So next I'll go to Jenkins. So I'll go to manage tag. I will add one more tag app. So then I will do for Jenkins. I will just write it down Jenkins over here. Okay. Save. So next I will uh, just click on Kubernetes again. Tag. Then I will search for resource. Let me put R as that is enough. Then EC2 node. I'll go to tag. Then manage. So this also resource EC2 resource. And third one also I will add it to my EC2. Okay, Jenkins because these three are EC2 instance, right? That's what. Then I'll go to this instance. I'll go to RS and this is my EC2 instance. Okay. So now I'll go to my resource tag editor. Then I will create a group. For example, so what are the part of my Kubernetes? All the Kubernetes instance will be, I will take it as a group. So what are the part of my Jenkins server? I will create a group for Jenkins server. And what are my EC2 servers? I will create a group for my EC2 server. So let's see how we can do that. So for that, we have to go to EC2 tag editor. So let's search resource and tag editor. Okay, you can see that resource groups and tag editor. AWS resource group let you search and group AWS resources. Okay, if you have a multiple project, so without any hassle or without any seamless experience, we can create a group. Okay, it's very uh, intuitive. I'll show you that how to create a group. So you have to create create a resource group. Click on click on resource, create a resource group. Then click on tag based. We have a two option. One is cloud formation stack. Another one is a tag based. I will select tag based because we already set up tag for that, right? Okay. So next criteria. So here I will select all supported resources. Okay. Or else you can select any particular resources, for example, EC2 machine or VPC or any other. So here I will select what? All supported. Okay. So then tag. Okay. See, first I want to group my all Kubernetes servers. So what I have to do? Tag. See, first I will select the tag. So I will select the tag application. Then uh, what is it? Kubernetes. I will select Kubernetes, then preview group resources. And you can see that we'll be having two resources. See, this is my node and this is my Kubernetes master. Right. If I go to my instance and I'll go to my Jenkins server, I'll do one thing. I'll go to tag, then I will add Kubernetes tag. So let's see how we can mm, manage tag, add a new tag. So let me do app. Okay, app is already done, right? So I cannot do that. I'll do one thing. I'll remove this. Then I'll make it Kubernetes. Okay, fine. Kubernetes app. I'll go to resource group again. Uh, preview group resources. 
and now you can see that three resources based on tag we can create a group okay if i go to my resource group i will remove this then i will call it as app then jenkins let me search all my jenkins okay see as of now we don't have any jenkins because we already removed jenkins from there itself okay so next i will search uh resource rs and that is ec2 and you will be able to find all the resource over here okay ec2 machines see 1 2 3 So I'll go to my uh, EC2 instance again. Let me remove that Jenkins tag. I'll go to tag. I'll go to manage tag. Let me remove this Kubernetes instead of I will and uh, Jenkins. Then save. I'll go to resource tag editor. I'll refresh. So grouping criteria all support resources. Select app. Okay. See, if you selecting Kubernetes, you can see that we have a two instances over here. See two, right? But if you selecting Jenkins over, here, you can see that one instance. I'll I'll go to App, then I'll select Jenkins, then Preview Group Resources, and you can see that only one instance. So that is a part of Jenkins server. So consider you have a multiple project and multiple resources, and if you want to group those resources, you have to use a resource and tag data. Not only that. See, you can see that export resource to CSV. Okay, if you want, you can take uh, one CSV format file as well, like uh, Excel sheet as well. You can take informations. Okay, so export all tags. So just click over here, and you can see that it is successfully downloaded. See, successfully downloaded as a resource file. So quite simple. Any doubt? Any doubt? Please let me know.